And over to news from the IT space where the top seven IT companies in India saw a massive 43% drop in their H-1B visa approvals between 2015 and 2017. According to a new study by Think Tank National Foundation for American Policy, these companies saw only 8,468 H-1B petitions approved in the financial year 2017, down from 14,792 in 2015. What's also clear from the data is that with more than 100,000 applications filed in excess for FY18, the annual flying limit would have been hit on the first day of April filing period itself. According to this think tank, the drop in visas is due to trends like cloud computing and artificial intelligence, which require fewer workers. Also because companies are relying lesser on visas and trying to build the domestic workforce in the US. Separately, but in still, it's still a bad news for Indian tech workers in the US. The government is planning to end H-4 visas. These allow spouses of H-1B visa holders to work illegally, pardon me, legally in US. According to U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services or USCIS Director, and I quote, the agency is reviewing existing regulation policies and programs and developing a combination of rulemaking, policy, memorandum and operational changes to implement the Buy American and Hire American Executive Order. These initiatives aim to protect the income or economic interests of U.S. workers and prevent fraud and abuse in the immigration system. Now, Francis Cisna, director USCIS, said this. However, influential lawmakers and representatives of the American IT industry, including Facebook, are opposing the move to withdraw work permits for H-4 visa holders, who are spouses of H-1B visa holders. According to Immigration Policy Institute, as of June 2017, USCIS had granted more than 71,000 employment authorization papers to H-4 spouses, a whopping 69 percent of them were from India. Now, according to current estimates, nearly 62,000 Indians are likely to be affected if rollback goes through. And I'm joined by my colleague Jessica Taneja for more on this. Jessica, first of all, I would like to understand from your side the recent trouble of H-1B visa. How serious is that? And do you think going forward, attraction for U.S. as a destination for Indian techies will also win well so clearly the united states wants indian techies and they need that skilled workforce and uh, the reviewing of the h-14 visa in fact directly impacts the indo-us ties as well in many ways because uh, many of the indian it workers have been already struggling with the restrictions on h-1b visas and few policies in place and regulations that are being uh, ex re-examined by the trump administration so of course this brings it as a shock uh, you know for for the h-14 visa, visa holders who are who are dependent on uh, their spouses in fact who are working in the united states so of course that uh, it makes it a little impossible for them to travel with their husbands and uh, and that would reduce the migration of Indian techies in the United States then. And just like a quick question to you also, in the past few years we have seen PM Modi travelling to uh, US uh, quite some time and uh, he had discussed these issues and officials have also discussed these issues. There's no respite in sight so far as far as H-1B visa is concerned. So do you think that Oh, in a way, we can say that diplomatic efforts have failed to bring any kind of consensus on allowing Indian visas to go or Indian people to go on U.S. visas in U.S. Well, it's always been a very difficult battleground when you talk about the you know visa H-1B visas as well. That is under contention, of course. And then there is the review of H-1B visa as well. It is obviously going to make it a little difficult for Indians moving out of India and settling in the United States and working in in the Silicon Valley, it does impact the United States. It would, in fact, uh, in, a, in the longer run, maybe not initially, if this is reviewed and if this is taken forward, it would impact the Silicon Valley and uh, the economy in, 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 money, in many better ways because it's the United States that needs skilled uh, workers at this point in time.